Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. I thank you. Be sure to check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. Created by a Denarian, for Denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded mobile application added free for my subscribers. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. In my opinion in order to get people to switch over to the digital 100%, they will let the fiat system fail. It is what the government is good at, create the problem, then offer a solution to the problem and hence, force mass adoption. I am recommending you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone, one gram at a time, and this will protect you as the fiat system fails. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. Both the links to the currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. This morning I decided to explore the digital dollar project, as it could very well affect our exchange, who knows, one of these days we may even see an announcement from the CBI that states Iraq is going digital. It would certainly make it a much more simple transaction and a lot more secure than walking out the front door of a bank with pockets full of cash. Over 80% of the world's central banks are currently working on digital currencies, and if you did not notice, most of the World Economic Forum was based on the blockchain technology and digital assets such as central bank digital currencies. After doing a few Google searches this morning, I soon realized they actually have a full website dedicated to the digital dollar project. Here is the project briefing page which describes what the goal is of the project itself. I will also leave a link in the description below for those of you who wish to go check out the website on your own. As we go forward remember knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. The digital dollar project a multi-stakeholder initiative to develop options for a digital dollar. Since Western Union's first use of telegraph networks to send money in 1871, the basic process of sending money even with the development of digital technologies hasn't changed much. A message is sent via a network containing the payment information and a bank is required, on both sides with reciprocal accounts or other abilities, to fund the transaction. The process can be slow, expensive, and uncertain, particularly if international legs of the transaction are required while foreign exchange, FX, rates fluctuate. While the process of sending money has been slow to change, the demand for currencies with added functionality to support faster, more certain, accessible, and complex payments has accelerated and central banks are paying attention. More than two-thirds of central banks have been investigating new payment applications, with many of these banks emerging as new potential innovators applying novel technologies, including tokenization, to offer new possibilities to represent and transfer value. For example, the Riksbank, the central bank of Sweden, is now the first among leading central banks to have decided to test the deployment of a digital currency, e krona, in a pilot environment. It's been reported that China plans to introduce a central bank-issued digital currency, CBDC, in the near term and the European Central Bank, ECB, has been actively exploring digital currency features. But central banks are not the only ones exploring ways to capitalize on the demand for new currency functionalities. For example, the Facebook-supported Libra proposal highlights that private, Non-state stable coins may play an important role as a borderless payment medium. Similarly, other initiatives, including digital coins from Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, MUFG, and Walmart, 
seek to offer new payment technology and functionality that existing national currencies currently do not provide. These private sector developments are helping advance innovation, but the time has come to future-proof the greenback by exploring implementation options for a U.S. digital dollar. The principal members of the new Digital Dollar Foundation, the Foundation, have sounded the call for this needed dollar innovation. Together with Accenture, a global leader in CBDC advancement, the Foundation is now catalyzing action by forming the Digital Dollar Project, the project, to study potential avenues to advance U.S. digital dollar tokenization and related implications on the U.S. and global economic and financial systems. The project will encourage research and public discussion on the potential advantages of a digital dollar, convene private sector thought leaders and actors, and propose possible models to support the public sector. The project will develop a framework for potential practical steps that can be taken to establish a dollar CBDC. It will further explore design options and approaches for creating a digital dollar through a deliberative process, including stakeholder meetings, roundtable discussions and open forums, and be based on careful consideration of core governmental interests, support for existing U.S. Federal Reserve, Fed, related projects, and a focus on a set of key guiding principles. The project will ultimately seek to identify options for a CBDC solution that enhance monetary policy effectiveness and financial stability, provide needed scalability, security, and privacy in retail, wholesale, and international payments, while ensuring integration with existing financial infrastructures. The Value Case for a Digital Dollar U.S. central bank money has seen few, if any, innovations since the printing of banknotes during the 19th century. Its circulation has remained strictly local and its functionalities limited. Central banks generally issue banknotes for use by the general public and reserves to the banking system. The Digital Dollar Project seeks to encourage the next major innovation in the U.S. currency a digital dollar issued by the Federal Reserve System that would enjoy the full faith and credit of the U.S. government and represent a third format of central bank money in addition to banknotes and reserves. A digital dollar would serve digital financial market infrastructure. To meaningfully expand upon existing capabilities, the new medium should be portable, be sent as easily as a text, and thereby allow settlement irrespective of space and time. It would enhance confidence for conducting digital payment transactions and broaden scope, diversification and resilience in dollar payments. A digital dollar issued by the Fed would enhance scope, access, diversification and resilience in dollar payments and support retail, wholesale and international payment use cases. Retail payments online cannot be conducted in central bank money. Banknotes remain important in particular to make small payments although on average physical cash is in decline as a percentage of broader monetary aggregates. A digital dollar would offer a new choice for digital transactions, offer instantaneous peer-to-peer -peer payments, and provide diversification of payment rails in particular to grant greater autonomy, especially in times of heightened financial distress. A digital dollar could be distributed to the end user through commercial banks and trusted payment intermediaries and offer additional mechanisms to ensure and facilitate financial inclusion. Wholesale payments rest on national payment systems and are normally conducted through interbank clearance using central bank money to settle securities and other large value payments. The important role of central bank money to conduct large value payment transactions implies that access to central bank money has important distributive effects. A digital dollar would offer more diversified access to large value payments and support the emergence of digital financial market infrastructures. International payments cannot be conducted digitally in U.S. dollars. A digital dollar would allow establishing more direct monetary relations reduce risks, address persistent deficiencies of the existing correspondent banking model, enhance competition in international payments and advance financial market integration. The use of a digital dollar in cross-border and offshore transactions would allow making digital payments in central bank money for remittances and large value payments, including the possibility to conduct offshore security settlement. 
Key Principles The Digital Dollar Project seeks to incorporate a wide range of stakeholder views and needs. The project will aim to offer solutions that can be implemented, including through phases and careful testing, and meet existing performance criteria of U.S. financial infrastructure. Introduction may be partial and could be limited to discrete pilots before broadly rolling out across all use cases. Such an introduction would adhere to the following key principles. Ensure real-world and inclusive benefits of and subsequently make broadly available a digital dollar that will constitute a liability of the Fed and form an integral part of the monetary base. Preserve effectiveness of monetary policy on financial stability and future-proof the greenback. Ensure requisite privacy and security in payments is preserved. Adhere to existing Know Your Customer slash Anti-Money Laundering, KYC slash AML, requirements amid distribution through regulated payment intermediaries and banks, preserving the two-tiered banking system. Facilitate special provisions to onboard parts of the population that are being digitally excluded. Enhance economic policy insights through the transparency of digital payments. Offer comprehensive and seamless integration with the financial infrastructure including through connectivity to existing core banking and payment functions, custody solutions, and electronic wallets. Develop best-in-class technology to support needed digital currency functionalities. Collaborate across public and private stakeholders, both leveraging and facilitating private sector dynamism and innovation. Offer flexible development and testing of project elements. International Digital Dollar The importance of the U.S. dollar in international transactions is clear. It continues to represent more than three-fifths of central banks' foreign exchange reserves. Figure 1 In no other area will innovation be more beneficial for dollar users, and nowhere will changes to the dollar as a settlement medium be felt more than in the international domain. At the same time, incentives, geopolitical pressures, and even generational preferences to replace the dollar as an international payment medium are significant amid a perceived undue dollar dependence and contraction of international dollar liquidity. China's push towards a renminbi CBDC is seen largely amid its efforts to advance renminbi internationalization as an effort to do so at the expense of the dollar's primacy. International dollar liquidity is shrinking. The contraction of dollar liquidity, as approximated by cross-border and local dollar credit, in emerging markets and in particular, in emerging Asia raises incentives to seek alternative settlement media. Figure 2 Credit in emerging Asia has contracted from a peak of 6.9% of gross domestic product, GDP, in 2013 to 5.1% in 2018. This decline also coincided with the share of dollar cross-border credit in emerging Asia falling from 11.9% in 2014 to 8.5% in the first quarter of 2019. At the same time, the share of the dollar in invoicing is estimated to be around 4.7 times the U.S. share in world trade. In Japan, the share of imports denominated in dollars is estimated to be more than two-thirds compared with imports from the U.S. being about one-tenth of total imports. The use of the dollar in international transactions also has been accompanied by significant holdings of U.S. portfolio securities, which is particularly true in Asia. Figure 3. Thus. A decline in the international use of the dollar would likely result in a reduction of international U.S. securities holdings which could exert downward pressure on U.S. securities prices and the dollar. Challenges Many central banks have remained cautious about the adoption of CBDC. In part this rests on uncertainty of the effect of CBDC on a central bank's national financial system and the national economy and whether CBDC may cause some crowding out of commercial bank monies. There are additional concerns around privacy and security. Wider access to a digital form of central bank money may also be seen with some trepidation although it is already common with banknotes. While concerns about fraud and money laundering can be mitigated by channeling a digital dollar through the U.S. banking system, offshore use of a digital dollar may require additional safeguards. 
The possible adoption of digital money by central banks outside the U.S. is considered to be in large part motivated by reducing reliance on the dollar in international transactions. The adoption of a digital dollar in the U.S. is seen as critical to a possible orderly recalibration of the dollar's attractiveness relative to other digital currencies to support stable international monetary conditions. The special global status of the dollar implies that any alteration in its issuance provisions need to be assessed and tested with utmost care. Intent and implications must be clearly articulated and understood to guide market expectations about the possible effects of digital dollar adoption. The international role of the dollar may imply that consultation and collaboration with international actors should be considered. The adoption of a digital dollar as a third dollar format is not expected a priori to alter conduct, provisions for and the effectiveness of monetary policy on financial stability. Project Team The Digital Dollar Foundation and Accenture have formed a core multidisciplinary team to consider initial designs and proposals for a digital dollar as the first phase of a multi-phase journey. The team will engage with economists, technologists, lawyers, academics, consumer advocacy groups, human rights experts, and ethicists. Over the next several months the team will consider potential designs and proposals along with a multi-step plan to pilot, test, learn, and enhance needed digital dollar capability. The pace and direction of the program will be determined by a governing body that will be proposed along with the completion of the first phase of work. At the end of the first phase, the team intends to present its findings to key stakeholder groups and policymakers and begin consideration of possible future phases to expand the pilot and formalize a broader approach. Timeline and Stakeholder Engagement Opportunities Requirements and design sessions are underway and select key stakeholders will be invited to join a series of workshops over the coming months. The team plans to share more information about the proposed designs and plans in the late first half of 2020 at which time public comments and contributions will be invited. For more information about the Digital Dollar Project, please see digitaldollarproject.org. I put the link in the description below this video. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one exchange planner made by a Denarian for Denarians. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be delayed. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad. The dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Over and out. The Denarian.